Well, all has been quiet the last few weeks in the tropics, but Wes says we are nearing the peak of the hurricane season, and that could change. We don't want it to, though, do we? Not, we no. certainly don't. Our storm team meteorologist, Lance Walker, has a look back at one historical storm and a few things to keep in mind the rest of the season. Imagine going to bed with the knowledge that a Category 1 hurricane is bearing down on your city, only to wake up the next morning and find out it strengthened into a dangerous Category 4 storm with wind gusts over 130 miles per hour. Well, that's exactly what happened on this date five years ago as Hurricane Harvey was bearing down on southeast Texas. The track of Harvey was what known well in advance of landfall, but its expected intensity remained in doubt until the final hours. This is because of a phenomenon called rapid intensification. The National Hurricane Center has defined rapid intensification as an increase in wind speeds over 35 miles per hour within a 24-hour time period. It's also something that forecast models really struggle with forecasting. Since 1980, we've drastically improved track forecasts. Back then, the error was about 350 miles. Today, it's only about 100 miles. Intensity, however, remains an issue, and forecast models rarely predict cases of rapid intensification. It can become very dangerous when it occurs because it can quickly catch residents and officials unprepared. In fact, all 10 of the most costly hurricanes to make landfall in the U.S. underwent rapid intensification. Despite our slow start, we're getting ready to move into the peak of the hurricane season. And as you know, September is usually an active month for North Carolina. For CBS 17 News, I'm meteorologist Lance Blocker.